Hello YouTube, how you doing? How you doing? I hope you're doing well. It's time again for another knife of the day. This is the series where I go through my collection one knife at a time, one day at a time. We're currently going through my Chris Reeve, Microtech, Out the Front Automatics, and Browse Blades collections. And whenever there's a new Spydeco, we pop those in as well. I have a playlist, there's a bunch of, I want to say over 260 so individual knives where you can go through and look at my collection so far, all of the Spydecos and a lot of other old, classic, hard to find knives, so go check out the playlist. I also have another playlist, I used to do for about a year and a half a uh, pocket dump deconstruction where you see me with a bunch of knives and cigars and stuff, some booze. So go check those out as well. Today, on our Knife of the Day series, the Knife of the Day is the Browse Blade Triple Threat Fixed Blade. Now, I'm a huge Browse Blade fan. Um, mostly his earlier knives, and you're going to see a lot of them. Um, earlier, I talked about the silent soldier uh, fixed blades and said how popular Jason Browse got with those mid techs. Well, these mid techs got him a lot of fame. Probably, I think these even came before the silent soldier. These are the triple threats. Now, they're triple threats because, as you can see, there are three different grinds Tanto blades. D2 steel, I happen to have the blacked out version and the satin version here. Only 240 of these were made. Mid-tech, not custom, but a lot of things are done, like the grinds and stuff in-house, but he does send some things out of house. That's why it's a mid-tech. Only 240, as you can see, uh, the blacked out version was 204 out of 240, and the satin was 9 out of 240. Here's the thing about Browse Blades, uh, Jason Browse. All of his knives, for the most part, are limited. And he tells you how many there are. As we go through this collection, you're going to see there's one collection where there's only 100 of the flippers that are made, and I have three of them. I also love it because he does blacked out version, all black version, satin, stone wash, and acid stone wash for each of his knives. And that's all within the 240 in this regard. But I wanted these two. Couple of things happen with these fixed blades for Jason Browse. First, very popular, hard to grab hold of now because of that unique grind, all flat grind, but three different grinds on one blade. I told you it was D2 steel, he loves D2 steel. Uh, a couple of things too, these became so popular that there were Chinese ripoffs of these knives. So um, <laughs> when, I, when I was looking into triple threats, I heard Jason was not happy with that. Also, he turned these knives into, I think, very effective and very good folding knives. And I believe those folding knives are the only ones that he made folding knives that weren't flippers. I'm not sure of that. I have two of them. Yeah, the blacked out version <laughs> and the satin version. And, and that was his first attempt at flippers, I believe. And then, of course, he's gone on to a lot of different flippers that you'll see as I go through my early collection. Really like this knife. So a couple of things about the knife. First, man, it has a good weight to it. It really does. It feels so nice in hand. I wish we had fill -a vision and we don't. But you see that big, fat chunk of D2 steel that he really handled really well. So you see the three grinds, you see the Tanto blade. Look at the jimping on the top. 
He does a great job with jimping. It's jimping, but it's smooth. Everything about this is smooth. The spine is smooth. So it feels just great in the hand. The jimping is really smooth jimping. As we get closer looking at Browse Blades and his flippers, you'll see that he does some unique things with jimping. He carries the jimping down for fouled work down here on the spine. This is a full tang fixed blade knife. That means that the steel goes all the way through the handle, and you can see that. He put these small sides on them really nice, and you'll see this happen with a lot of browse blade knives. Uh, this is G10, black G10, and really carved, really nice. You'll see that with some carbon fiber carvings as well as some G10 carving, just real nice. People call this a maze, maze etching. And the handle is thin. Usually I don't like when people have these finger grooves because I have some fat fingers, I have fat everything. <laughs> but in this case, it works really nice. They fit in real nice, even on a reverse just perfect place for your thumb just really fits nice and again all smooth edges even in here so it feels really nice 3.6 inch blade the total knife 8.2 inches g10 as i told you the weight is 6.1 ounces and with this kind of big blade and a full tang and all of that, actually it feels good in the hand. Well balanced, 6.1 inches. Each of them came with Kydak sheaths. I love the sheaths too. Very tight with the clip on the back, but removes real easily. Sometimes you get these Kydak sheaths and it's hard to get the freaking, they fit nice and tight, but it's hard to get them out. These work very well. The knife of the day, folks, oh, I love this. Um, the knife of the day is the Browse Blades triple threat, triple threat fixed blade knife. He turned these into flippers, and later on as we go through the collection, you'll get to see his flippers. And when you do, I'll bring these back out so you can see just how well he did that. Browse Blades, uh, Jason Browse does a lot of fixed blades, even to this day. Obviously, his flippers are the ones that we're most familiar with. Knife of the day, brass blades, triple threat, wonderful grinds, D2 steel, limited to 240. You can still find these. They're kind of hard to find. I'll tell you, the flippers are even harder to find, but just real nice knives. That's it. If you enjoy this, don't forget to thumb it up. Let me know that you're out there doing anything every single day, no matter what, especially when you're right before going off to work late, is sometimes hard. And just reading your comments and seeing your thumbs up keep me going. So I really appreciate that. We have a lot of collection to go through. <laughs> a lot of collection. I was surprised February uh, 2018. It is now January 20-something in twenty. 18. We started in 2017 in February, so we're getting close to a year, and we have a lot of collection to go. A lot of collection to go. One knife at a time, one day at a time. Don't forget to subscribe. Uh, man, I have only 30%, not even 30, something like 28% of the people who watch these actually subscribe. Take a second and subscribe, and turn on your notifications, that bell, uh, so you don't miss any of... Um, the videos that I do. You guys have a perfect day. Keep those pockets full. Take good care of yourselves and your, fin your friends and family. But you first, you first. It's like on an airline when you're, you know, if you have problems, yeah, you take whiffs of the mask before you push, give it to anyone else. You need to be healthy first. You take care of yourself. Keep those pockets full. Goodbye.